Here we are with Cabrini head men's lacrosse coach Steve Colfer. Coach, first let me thank you for taking some time to speak with us today. Uh, the team is currently 3-3 three and three and ranked 13th nationally and in the midst of arguably, arguably the toughest non-conference schedule in the country, facing four top 10 teams and three more top 20 teams in the next two weeks. How do you think the team has responded thus far? Well, I mean, we're 3-3, three and three, so, um, you know, we, we've, like you said, we've played some of the toughest teams in the country, some uh, on the road and, and, and some at home. So, I mean, we're, we'd love to be 6-0. Um, we're not, you know, we have to take the good and the bad. Um, I think hopefully we learn from these games, we get better through these games, um, and uh, it, it serves us well, you know, later in the year as we move back into our conference play and then ultimately into our conference playoffs. Um, you know, the kids knew at the beginning of the year that this was going to be a tough road. Um, we made, you know, no bones about it that um, you were going to play some of the best competition that um, D3 Lacrosse had to offer us um, this year. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, we're happy in some respects, you know, in terms of some of the individual play and some of the things we've done. Um, being 500 right now, we're not, you know, we, we would like obviously to be uh, better than that. But I think at the end of the year, uh, time will tell if this schedule has served us best in terms of preparing us for ultimately where we want to go as a program. Okay. Uh, are you getting a lot of contributions from a lot of players? Uh, but the play of junior Corey Elmer and senior Bobby Thorpe has really stood out thus far on the offensive side. Can you talk a little about those two players and their impact on the team? Yeah, I mean, they've both been great. Corey has been uh, dynamic in terms of not only scoring and assisting the ball, but he's just a tenacious rider. Uh, he's played midfield and attack uh, in different games and, and, and both in certain games. Uh, he's, you know, a great ground ball guy. He rides hard. Uh, I mean, he just, he's a very quiet kid off the field, but when you get him on the field, he's just, he's tenacious. He's really stepped up this year. Um, and, and Bobby's coming back off of arguably one of the best years in, uh, offensively in our program history individually. Um, he struggled a little bit out of the gate. He's gotten it going recently. Um, I think he was probably trying too hard and pressing too hard. And he's another guy we've moved from attack to midfield and back again. And we're really still trying to develop and evolve um, our, our offensive game plan and personnel and, and where we feel like certain guys are going to help us best. So those two guys have been um, have been really good. Anthony DeSanzo has been another guy that has been contributing. He's been a little cold lately, but we got to get him going. Mike Glyden, Damian Sobieski, you know, uh, on top of uh, transfer Ethan Heisman, um, you know, have been guys that have been kind of consistently in our lineup. You know, Ethan had a breakout game against Gettysburg with five goals, um, you know, and that obviously we, we just – we need to continue to get guys to step up and, and, and score the ball. You know, we've been a little deficient defensively, um, but um, I just don't think we're scoring consistently enough uh, in our first line attack, first line midfield, and then we need contributions from some role players on our second line and D-mids and so forth for us to really get going and really to be um, a, a dynamic ball club, which I think we have the ability to do. It's just a matter of putting it all in place and, and, and seeing the results on the field. Uh, so, like we said, you've already faced four top ten teams. You have three more coming up in the next couple of weeks, uh, including number 16 Union coming into Edith Rob Dixon Field on Sunday. Uh, can you talk a little bit about Union, what you've seen so far, and what do you think it's going to take for the uh, for Carina to be successful? Yeah, I mean, they're a very good team. They went to the NCAA quarterfinals last year. Coach Paul Aram up there is, you know, is a legendary coach in our game. He had uh, won multiple national championships up at Herkimer Junior College before he um, went into the Division three ranks at, at Union. Uh, he's taken that program to, to uh, you know, uh, unparalleled success the last number of years. They got solid pedigree players. Uh, they're balanced on both sides of the ball. They have great goalie play. They face the ball, uh, face off well, uh, athletic at, at, at the defense, midfield, and attack position. So it's going to be a formidable challenge. Um, we don't know a lot about each other. We first time we've ever played, um, so that's exciting and fun for our kids. I think um, we know how good they are. We know how well coached they're going to be, um, and um, so we're just looking forward to the opportunity. I mean, um, our kids are well versed now in playing really good teams this year, and, and I don't think there's a situation that will you know be new to them or intimidating to them. Um, it's always nice to play at home in front of your fans and stoop in your own bed. So so obviously. Um, like to play in some nice weather finally, you know, our, our, our spring has not been really uh, too kind to us this year um, so far, but um, it's, that affects obviously both teams. But, um, you know, we, we're going to have to be well prepared, um, have a good scout in place, have three good days of practice getting ready for them. 
um, for us to, to be successful. Um, and it's going to be a close, hard-fought game. Um, and, and the team that just makes more plays on Sunday is the one that's going to come out of here with a W. Um, and we hope that's us. Um, but uh, we're really going to have to work very hard. All right. Well, thanks, Coach, and we will see you on Sunday as the number 13 Cavaliers host number 16 Union College at 1 p.m. at Edith Rob Dixon Field. Good luck on Sunday, Coach. Thanks, Dave.